Hi and welcome to FMS. I'm Ben Mala, an 8th grader here at FMS. I think FMS is a great place because the teachers are so friendly and they can help you with your work whenever you need it. In this video, current students will take you on a tour of FMS, walking through a typical 6th grader's day. Let's start off by meeting our principals. There's the building principal, Mr. Laster, and two house principals, house principals Mr. Obi and Mr. Piper. Hi, I'm Joshua Kaufman, here with Mr. Laster, the FMS building principal. How's it going, Mr. Laster? It's doing great, Mr. Kaufman. How are you doing today? Pretty good. What makes FMS so great in your opinion? Wow, there's a lot of reasons why I believe that Farnsworth Middle School is a great place. I think that uh, ultimately uh, it boils down to the people here. It boils down to the great students we have, the great families that support our work, and certainly the awesome teachers and staff that we have in this building who go above and beyond uh, what, what, what their call of duty is to, to make sure that every student has a wonderful experience during their middle level years. And uh, we, in, we have fun while we're doing it, so it's a, it's a great place. and. Uh, very, very happy to be here as the school building principal. What advice do you have for next year's sixth grade students and their parents? Well, advice. I would say for our incoming sixth grade students, enjoy every minute of it. Ask a lot of questions. Get involved in as many clubs and activities and uh, opportunities that will uh, come across your plate as you go through the middle school. Uh, take advantage of everything that we have to offer and really enjoy your time in the three years that you're here with us because uh, we're, we're setting you up for future excellence once you leave uh, Farnsworth Middle School. Um, as far as parents, I would suggest uh, that you too enjoy the middle level years and uh, communicate with us as often as you'd like and continue to support our good work and uh, we hopefully will be able to uh, deliver a, an amazing experience for your child over the next three years in the middle school. We're excited that they're here and we're excited that you're going to be part of our school community as well. Thank you for your time. You're welcome. Thank you. Now we're going to meet our house principals. We've got two, Mr. Piper and Mr. Obi. First up is Mr. Piper. Hi, my name is Shashank Shamshaban, and I'm here with Seneca and Tal Santos House Principal, Mr. Piper. So how are you feeling today, Mr. Piper? Very good, Shashank, and how are you doing? Uh, I'm all right. What should you sixth graders expect when they first come to FMS? I think a little period of adjustment. It's probably about a week long. And as a new sixth grader, one of the things that it, 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 you, you need in order to get in in, in, in sync with Farnsworth Middle School is about a week's worth of time to get used to your lockers, to get used to where your classes are and how frequently you'll be changing classes, um, what lunch is like and what PE is like and things like that. After about a week, you're going to be a pro. So you should expect that. Okay. So ne next question. What do you think uh, makes FMS such a great place to be? I think what I notice about FMS that makes it a special place is that people care about each other very much like the school you're currently in and kids and adults do really important things to let each other know that they matter. What advice do you have for next year's sixth graders? Get involved. Co-curricular clubs for students. These are after-school clubs. They are the best way to make this school your school awfully quickly. I really thank you for your patience and I hope you had a great time. I did, Shashank. You're an awesome interviewer. All right, thank you, and I hope you had fun. Hi, I'm Leaf. I'm here with House Principal Mr. Obi. Mr. Obi, what's your favorite thing about being a house principal? Well, the best thing about working as a house principal here at Farnsworth Middle School is the amazing students that are in this building. I've been here for 14 years now, and every year we get smiling faces, and it's just awesome to come to work. What do you think makes FMS so great? I think FMS is really a, a community. It's like one big giant family where um, we, we um, organize ourselves into houses and teams and we get to know each other and, and have a great place to learn. And what advice do you have for next year's sixth graders? Well, for students coming in next year, um, it's very important that they get to know at least one adult in this building. I think we pride ourselves on every student has an adult that they can connect with so that they feel safe and ready to learn every day. Thank you very much, Mr. Obi. Back to the typical day at FMS. After getting off the bus and dropping off 
your stuff in the locker, you will go to homeroom. Your homeroom teacher is one of your core class teachers. In homeroom, they would take attendance, give out important information, and you'll watch the school news broadcast. After homeroom, you start your schedule. Each day is assigned a letter day, A, B, C, and D. And the classes you go to each day depend on what letter day it is. Each day you go to one one or more of your core classes, which are math, science, English, language arts, or social studies. Let's go talk to some of the sixth grade core teachers and learn more. Hi, I'm here with sixth grade ELA and social studies teacher, Mr. Ball. What are some things students will learn in sixth grade ELA and social studies? Thanks, Adam. Sixth graders will learn lots of things this year. Um, in language arts and social studies, they'll learn to be more independent, more responsible. Um, and I think they'll enjoy that. Kids always seem to enjoy the freedoms that come here along with the responsibilities and the challenges. In social studies, it's all about ancient civilizations, Mesopotamia, all the way through the Middle Ages and beyond. We do a lot of current events stuff. We watch CNN student news. We read current events publications and have lots of great conversations about that. In language arts, we do a ton of reading and writing, obviously. Um, there's lots of nonfiction reading and lots of nonfiction writing. So what's your favorite unit to teach? Writing. Um, I'm amazed by what my students come up with for their topics. I try to be a teacher that gives them lots of choice when they write and even when they read their choice of books but when sixth graders write they amaze me with the things they already know about their worlds and the opinions they have on them so i love teaching writing because it's different every day thank you it's all good thank you adam you're welcome this has been a delight i appreciate you coming here and interviewing me you're welcome is it Hi, I'm Savannah Ad Adamy, here with sixth grade math science teacher Miss Mayo. What are some things students will learn in sixth grade math and science? Hmm. Well, in sixth grade science, we do earth science. We start our year doing lots of labs and experiments to find out about the process that scientists go through to um, learn new things. And then we study astronomy. So we study from the earth out to the solar system. And then we study the earth inside all the way to its core. What do you think makes FMS great? I think what makes FMS great is all the wonderful people here who love learning and also all the neat clubs and different things that FMS has to offer. So Mr. Agatsky, what are some things fifth grade students will be learning in math and science when they come to the middle school? Uh, in mathematics, we've got a, a variety of things. We kind of have an extension of fifth grade, where we pick up and review some things in the first quarter. Um, but the second and third quarter, we learn about algebra and geometry, rates, ratios, proportions. Uh, and, we do, and we also get introduced to some word problems and how to read and solve those together. Mr. Flynn, what is your favorite unit to teach? My favorite unit to teach in language arts is memoir, because I love telling stories myself. And I think every student has stories to tell about their lives and teaching them how to take those stories and make them entertaining and reach a larger meaning is uh, something very satisfying and entertaining. In social studies, I enjoy the Roman Empire. Uh, I enjoy very much for the political intrigue and for the reflections that we can make about our own culture um, through studying Rome. Uh, it's quite a journey. Last question. What advice do you have for the next year's sixth graders? Farnsworth Middle School is a great school. It's a lot of fun. You have nothing to worry about. You have nothing to be afraid of. Your teachers are here to make the transition easy for you. You should be excited about coming to middle school. It's going to be a lot of fun. Enjoy your summer. Get your rest. And we look forward to seeing you in September. Thank you, Mr. Flynn. Now I'm on my way to foreign language class. There are a few languages you can take, including Spanish, French, German, and Italian. The, it's really interesting to take a new language, and we have some great foreign language teachers here at FMS. Hi, I'm Elizabeth Novak, here today with Senora Karens, one of the many foreign language teachers here at FMS. What language do you teach? Espanol, also known as Spanish. What do you learn in sixth grade foreign language class? We start with the basics, alphabet, colors, numbers, and then we move into talking about yourself, being able to talk about your family, we talk about food, one of the most favorite topics. We talk about your house. We talk about, oh, activities you can do also. What's your favorite thing about FMS? I would say 
the sense of community and being able to do activities with the students during the day and after school. We just had our dodgeball game after school, which was fantastic. And it was so fun to see all the teachers participating as well as the students. Thank you. Next on my schedule is gym. There's a lot of cool games you can play like volleyball, adventure, softball, and fencing. Let's find out more about it from, the, from one of our PE teachers. What do you do for sixth grade PE? Uh, sixth grade PE, we do lots of different activities, um, including adventure, volleyball, basketball. Um, we're currently in track and field right now, so we have lots of uh, activities for the kids. What is your favorite unit to teach? By far, my best unit to teach is adventure, uh, where we do some low climbing, some high climbing, uh, and some indoor elements. What tip do you have for sixth graders about PE locks? Do you have to buy your own locks? Yes. Uh, over the summer, I would purchase a combination not lock, not a key lock. Uh, practice it before you come in. Uh, and I challenge you to keep the same lock from sixth grade all the way up to your senior year of high school. All right, now back to class. Next to the special area classes like health, art, facts, or family and consumer science, technology, and music. You'll take each class for one to two quarters during the year. Here are some special area teachers to explain more. I'm here with health teacher Miss Rafferty. Why is it so important for sixth graders to take health? I think one of the greatest reasons or most important reasons why sixth graders need to take health is because they're starting to take charge of their own lives. When you're younger, when you're in elementary school, it's your teachers, it's your parents, maybe it's your grandparents or other adults in your life who make all the decisions about what you need to do. But as you enter middle school, you're taking the reins and you get to make some of those decisions now. So it's important to know the right way to make those decisions. Hi, I'm Benjamin Mala here with Mr. Romano, one of the art teachers here at FMS. So Mr. Romano, uh, what's an overview of sixth grade art this year? In sixth grade art, we're going to study ancient Greek vessels, which ties into your social studies curriculum. We're going to study um, landscape drawings done by the Hudson River School of Painters. And we're also going to create a painting using secondary and tertiary colors. Sounds fun. Uh, what's your favorite art project here? My favorite project is teaching sixth graders about ancient Greek vessels and then helping every student build a Greek vessel out of clay. All right, and do you have any advice for incoming sixth graders? Um, stay organized, keep up with your work, and do not be afraid ever to ask a teacher if you have any concerns about anything, including your grades. All right, sounds good. Thank you very much. Hi, I'm Michael Neal here with one of our facts teachers or family and consumer science, Ms. DeBose. What does a sixth grader learn in facts? Okay, in sixth grade facts, and you can kind of see where I am, I'm in a kitchen. Sixth graders do learn how to read recipes, how to measure, how to be in the kitchen safely and using um, sanitation, and they prepare different foods and they get the opportunity to sit together and eat those foods and evaluate how they do and hopefully use this, the things they learn in the kitchens to take those skills and use at home. We have um, students that will learn a little bit about babysitting, the ages and stages, and the different age groups and the different things that they can expect. And we teach babysitting because that could be a job that they could do in the future. In another classroom, we have sewing machines and we teach them how to use the sewing machines, the different parts of the sewing machine, and then they create a drawstring bag and they get to take that home. Hello, I'm Emily Pollard here with Mr. Corbett, one of the tech teachers. What, what do kids do in technology in sixth grade? Well, I'm glad you asked, Emily. We do a lot of things. First, we start working in this classroom here where we take a block of wood like this and you come up with the design on the computer and you design what you want to make and we actually end up cutting out your pieces of wood and you learn how to use all the machines in here like the bandsaw, the belt sander, um, filing tools and you end up making what we call a buck saw. And we have a saw blade here and this is designed by you, constructed by you and you get to keep it and you use this to cut pieces of wood in half. What would you like to tell next year's sixth grade students? Technology is a fun course where you get to do a lot of problem solving and you take things that you learn and you try to solve these problems by building things. Sometimes you make a mistake and that's okay, that's part of life. And our class is all about taking what you learn and applying that to solve problems even if you make mistakes to overcome them and just have a good time doing it. 
Music is a little different, especially if you want to play an instrument, an orchestra, or band. Singing in the chorus or do both. Sixth graders take general music where you learn fun the fundamentals or basics of music, but you can also join a performing group. Here's a music teacher to tell us how it works. Hi, I'm Elisa, here to talk about sixth grade general music class and performing music with Ms. Castellani. First, what music group do you work with? I work with the sixth grade chorus this year, and I also have the sixth grade general music. How can a sixth grader join band, chorus, or orchestra? Um, all they have to do is to uh, bring in a letter or have their elementary teacher make sure that they have filled out a form. Usually at the end of the year we have a little form that says, uh, would you like to join band or chorus or what instrument do you play? Uh, if you currently uh, do not sing in a chorus, you can still join sixth grade chorus without any audition. You can automatically be in there, but you just need to let your, your general music fifth grade teacher know about that when the form comes around. If you have not played an instrument and you'd like to, you can still join the orchestra or the band in sixth grade. Uh, you may need to take some lessons prior to be actually being in the group, um, but that's certainly a possibility. I would like to just add something else that you can both play an instrument and sing when you come to Fernsworth Middle School. Music is a part of our everyday life, okay? We all sing at some point, whether it be to pop tunes or listening to our iPod. It's around us all the time. By taking music, you get an opportunity to, to learn how music is created, to be a creator yourself, to be a composer, and to understand it better. One of the most useful places to go is the FMS Learning Center. You can come up on your own to find a great book or to read or do homework. Or you might come up with your class to work on different projects. Let's go inside and meet our great librarians. Hi, I'm Barbara Barrows. I'm I am in the Learning Center with our librarians, Ms. Dicker, Mrs. Dicker, and Ms. Lehman. What do students in sixth grade use the library for? Students come to the library to get another book that they're interested in. They can come to use the computers. And we have all different kinds of resources that they can take advantage of. Besides books, what other resources are there in the, the Learning Center? Oh, besides books, we have playaways and audiobooks. We have ebooks. We have computers, um, music, sheet music, more things than you would ever imagine. Why is the Learning Center important for students to visit? We want them to get comfortable here so that whenever they need something for research or for pleasure, they're able to find it and get what they need. My day is almost over, but before I go home, there's activity period. This is where you can take part in a number of different clubs and activities. There's a club for everyone's interests like GAPS, the Girl and Animal Protection Society, where different animal professionals bring in animals for a visit. There's the Chess Club with Mr. Flynn, where you play some interesting chess matches. Charlotte's Book Club, where you read and talk about different books. Intramurals for a number of sports. Gamers Club, select band, select course, and select orchestra, and even a sci-fi club. One of the larger clubs is Mask, which puts on a school musical production each spring. The students this year perform Disney's Mulan Jr. All students are welcome to join and perform in the musical. And if you don't want to be on stage, you can be part of the Tegan stage crew. They do all the behind scenes work, lights, and sound, and props. There's also the TV studio and the TV news club, where students from all grades put on a live broadcast of the announcements every morning that airs during homeroom. It's completely run by students. They also make commercials and other video projects that ran during the morning broadcast. That's actually the end of our day and the end of our tour. Thanks for watching. There's a lot more that goes around here at FMS, and you'll see once you find out. And now I think it's a great place because you have so much freedom, and the teachers are so nice. So, but you don't have to take my word for it. You'll see next year. What advice do you have for the next year's sixth graders? Well, always keep your locker clean like, um, in elementary school you have to keep your desk clean and don't be worried about um, the school it's pretty big at first but you know eventually you get used to it and you know the whole school by heart thank you Lee that was us in sixth grade now Tyler what has changed over the years um basically it's all the same I mean you meet new teachers throughout the years and you get you learn how to interact with the teachers and ask them for help if you need help, and you're not as shy as you were in sixth grade. Yeah, I agree with that. 
and it's also uh, much easier to make friends when you know basically everybody in the school. So yeah, it's been a really fun time. <laughs>